This is Maker Buy It with some mozzarella sticks. Should you go in, buy the frozen thing, or should you make from scratch with an air fryer? Let's find out. This year is gonna run us about about a dollar seventy-six. Now for all of this stuff. It's going to be $2.04. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to prep our panko here, which again, this is just, you can use any panko. It's fine. You could probably use breadcrumbs. Just use panko. What we're going to do is in our panko, we're going to add a little bit of oil and we're also going to add some garlic powder, give it some flavor. Here's our oil. You can use some vegetable oil for this. It's going to help it get nice and crispy. Just put a little bit in. Don't worry about measuring it. And as you can see here, there's, you can see the oil in there. It's just going to make it a little crispier. All right, so now we're going to get our garlic powder. You could definitely use higher quality garlic powder than I have here, but it's fine. Just use a healthy amount because you want your, you know, Spreading to taste like something. I assume that at least. Maybe you like your stuff unseasoned. Who am I judge? Now right, we're gonna go ahead and just mix that up with our fork here. So everything's all nice and, you know, mixed. <laughs> Now we're gonna go over to our flour. Flour, we are also going to go ahead and add some salt. Be, give it a healthy amount of salt. There's a lot of flour here. There we go. And you're not gonna end up using all of it either. And we're also gonna go ahead and add some black pepper. Again, you are gonna to wanna to put a lot of black pepper in here because it's going into the flour. It's gonna be dispersed a lot. Just grind up until you feel like not grinding up anymore. And that's when you probably have enough. We're gonna go ahead and, you know, put our eggs into there. We're gonna use two eggs. Should be the right amount. Crack our egg and I'm gonna show my egg cracking skill, which are hopefully good. There's one egg, break the other egg. That is two eggs. Now we are going to go ahead and add to one thing. We're gonna add one tablespoon of water. This will help do a few things. It'll help the freezing stage later, but we just want one tablespoon of water. You could probably just draw a little bit in, it's probably fine. I'm gonna use back and forth here to mix so all the seasonings mixed up. Go ahead and whisk up the eggs. You could use a real whisk. I'm the one to use fork a lot, or chopsticks is a good option. Probably the hardest part about this whole recipe is opening up these little cheese stick things. These string cheese can always be a lot to work to open. Now, luckily, I do have a knife, and we're gonna go for overkill here. We're gonna just go like that. Do be careful. Please hold while I open all these. Okay. So next, cut these all in half. There we go. That was the only reason I had that knife. So now we have to go eggs, flour, panko, and I'm going to put them on this handy dandy little tray. Let's go ahead, put the sticks into eggs. Go from that into the flour. And then we're going to go into the eggs again. Get them real covered well, something like that. And we're going to get them completely covered with the panko as well. We are going to cover them up again after we freeze them. So they're going to be double breaded and helps a lot. I would like to suggest putting your egg wash into the fridge. You can go ahead and put the panko in the fridge as well, just to keep everything safe. I'm going to go ahead and put these beautiful little cheese sticks into the freezer for half an hour. We need to make the marinara sauce. Now we're going to make a very, very basic marinara sauce. I'll just be using tomato sauce, garlic, salt, red pepper, and the most important ingredient, in my opinion, oregano. First things first, we're going to go ahead and turn on our stove. Get that going. Pot. And we're going to go ahead and add our sauce. This can is like a dollar, I think. Gonna up. We don't want to burn the sauce. We want to kind of just cook it for a little bit and simmer. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add some garlic powder. If you, again, if you have actual garlic cloves, that'd be a lot better. Put that in first. Be generous. And then we're going to go ahead and add some salt. Don't put too much in there. Red pepper. Now you're going to be like about however spicy you want, but do make sure that's some sort of spice. I'd like mine a little spicy, so I'll add a little more. Oregano. And I think that's like the most essential flavor besides the olive oil. So, so and I'm going to add the olive oil. I only have a little bit of olive oil left, but it's just just enough. And here, this is some extra virgin olive oil. Mix it up. And you're just basically gonna let this sit and simmer. And I'll give you a look at what this looks like. That. <laughs> and we got our cheese sticks out of the freezer. They've been breaded once. We're gonna go ahead and bread them once more. We'll do four at a time here. Get them all mixed up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We're gonna go from eggs to flour and back to eggs eggs. The reason we're doing this is so it's extra breaded and completely clovered. Mm -hmm. 
this is all done. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our air fryer, guys, to Iowa 2400 to get extra crispy. Okay, we're all preheated here now. You're gonna want to open this up, spray some oil in there. We are going to go ahead and place these in there, and they are gonna cook for around eight minutes. We will check them. I wanna get the marinara sauce, so we're gonna get that out of here. This is gonna be more marinara sauce than you need for the four pieces looking beautiful. Flip them over so we can make sure we get that bottom side crispy. You can put these back in for like another three minutes. They came out delicious as I hope you can see. We're gonna put them back down onto our little tray here I cleaned off. Okay here they are guys. Absolutely scrumptious. These are the homemade ones. Let's go give it a try and then we're gonna do Make the other ones, pre-made frozen ones first. We got cheese pool. Oh, oh, no, ah, we got a little bit. Yeah, it's not too bad, not too bad. Look at that. Let's go taste this as well. Say, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I do think I put slightly too much garlic in the marinara sauce, but not too bad. Let's open this up. We have not seen what this looks like. And a resealable. Pre-made, definitely wins on convenience. Ooh, these are wimpy. These are like half a tea stick. And once again, we're gonna put eight in there. Now these are gonna be a lot more uniform. And of course, I will spray them. These are going in. Let's go take a look. I don't know if these are gonna get fully crispy as we want them, guys. But I will shake them up a little bit and we're gonna leave that in there for, it says another, but in our two minutes, I'm never gonna try them. And it's time, there now, let's see. Here, here they are. Let's grab one of these and try to a cheese pull as well. Oh, oh, oh. I would take a parable or slightly better cheese pull, but nice. Let's go give us a taste though. Oh. Breading is a little flat. It's not the worst. It's not, it's worse. All right, these are like substantially worse than the ones I just made. Now it is much easier. You put in the air fryer for like four minutes than another, I did eight minutes total. They're kind of bland. They kind of just taste of cheese, which sure. Okay, here's my verdict guys. The first ones are a tiny bit cheaper. Convenience of time is your only concern or you're more worried about time but if you're willing to spend a little bit extra time and what i suggest what i suggest pre-make a lot of these pieces, and then you can just pull them out of the freezer or anytime in the next like six months or so and air fry them no problem and it would be equally easy at that point so much better like it's incomparable it's incomparable these small things are kind of boring i will be eating a lot of them because i have like 90 of these yeah, my final verdict. M definitely make it. This is this is a make it. Don't buy it. Not that hard. Okay, guys, I'm Daishima, a uh, magical boy, tea and cooking VTuber. If you enjoyed, watch this. Please smash that like button and subscribe. I do lots of cooking streams. You can get here. We also do cooking videos. Uh, go check it out. Uh, you YouTube thinks you would like this video here, though.